Yeah, that should get all of these guys starting to pump out ships. And then the next thing I want to do is assign a new commander here. Now, one thing we could do, actually, is speak to the Marauders and hire one of their admirals. So they were quite good. So if we go to the contacts. So we have these guys and these guys. Where are they? That Trevian Marauders are up here. So they're right next to Oscox. And then the Maloki are also next to Oscox. Hang on. <laughs> um. So you can't. That's too bad. What about you guys? Already raiding. I'll hire an admiral, I think. Ooh, ooh there's a Tyrion, very cunning. You lucky drifters. Cool. All right, let's see what this guy is like. Poto, mercenary warrior. Evasion ship fire, right? Done. Level 2, maximum level... S no, level 3. Maximum level 7. Sweet. And then the plan, basically, is to have the Red Tide hold this flank. And then the Hurricanes hold this flank. But it kind of looks like neither of them are actually interested in actually attacking. Oh, no, here they are. Oh, we do have a... Wait. You must have military access through them. So, Diadem, you could probably do with some more defences. Okay. What am I researching? Have I got the shields yet? Once I have the hyper shields, we're going to upgrade our ships. Our star base is under attack. And they'll take that one easily. That's that's the only exposed system I have, just because this was a better choke point. Who are you? Hi, Curator. I will extend our deal. So our relations with you are now pretty good. So let's have a word with them. See if we can hire, uh, buy anything else. So we've got the Curator Enclave. We can now recruit scientists. Although at the moment, all of our scientists are pretty amazing. So you could probably be better. I'll buy one, just because I'm curious to see what they're like. Professor Zarg. Research speed plus 15, survey speed plus 25. And they can also get up to level 9. This guy's level 5 at the start. Sold. Um, do I want you on society? I think I may actually switch these two around. No, because physics is actually the thing that I generate the most of. Cascadia Prime is ready to upgrade, so is Watership Down. Watership Down I can actually do now, so go ahead. There's the Hyper Shields. Defense Grid Supercomputer. Defense Platform Cap plus 8. And I get a 50% bonus. 
Done. Okay, then next up we are going to go to... Ship Designer. Corvette. So the Corvette currently is entirely armor based. But we could put a hyper shield on you, which gives you 145 shields. I uh, can't do it until they're actually built. Well, I think we can upgrade the cruisers. And actually the defense platforms. The defense platforms probably need it the most. That means I can probably do this. No, I can't do this. I can probably do this. Oh, yeah! Damn it, but these then cost... I can't afford those. Ah! So level 3 is the highest I can get without special resources. And now we're over this limit. Research complete. But I think maintenance cost is just energy, and energy I have a lot of now. Gene modification done. Penal colony modifier. Crime goes down in other colonies but increases in this one. Has massive immigration pull. Chemical Bliss Living Standard, which I also don't want. Because I think that basically kills any productivity. Um, none of these are particularly interesting to me right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Professor Zarg in charge of that group. And then our other genius in charge of this. So that we can get that done faster. And I guess food production. Oh, battle. That's here, isn't it? <laughs> well, those pirates lasted a long time. Let's take out the pirate base. It's gone. The Red Tide has destroyed a pirate station in the Lyktabon system and recovered its strong room module. Aside from the various stolen resources, the module also contains an ancient data pad with partial schematics of what appears to be a subspace gateway. There are no re records of where the pirates obtained this mysterious data pad, but it has furthered our understanding of how the Galactic Galaxy network functions. Meanwhile, battle is joined. You've attacked my 6.9k station with 1.5. Um... Good luck. Meanwhile, we need to do some repairs. My star bases are quite good. I didn't even leave behind any wreckage. Oh, we did actually lose a defense platform. Oh no, there's... There's the wreckage. For which we will need to pinch Waterloo's guy. New tradition, and with this we finish off Harmony. Stability increased by 5% for all of our planets, and we also get Empire Size. Penalty is reduced. And we get a new Ascension perk. 
Engineered evolution would be good. Transcendent learning would be good. Eternal vigilance would be good. I think engineered evolution. This gives us another three gene modification points. And allows us to get clone vats. Yeah, we're doing this. Sometimes evolution needs a nudge into the right direction. We now have the technology to genetically modify our bodies and minds to endure the trials of the ever-changing environment of an unprecedented rate. Cool. So if we go to Species, Drifter, Create Template. Oh, we still can't do this. Because we still can't replace Enduring. So we now have five trait points that we're basically just sitting on, not using. Well, that's a bit annoying. But hopefully that nudges us towards the technology that allow us to change it. Which should be a society tack. I think. How's the fleet doing? Has it been built? I think it has. So I can now change up the ship designs of the corvettes and give you access to tier 3 shield. Two of them? Yeah. And unfortunately the Ripper Auto Cannon uses explosive moats, so I cannot upgrade those either. Destroyer, you can definitely upgrade to the level 3 shields. This seems to be slightly overkill. None of that can upgrade. Oh, these might be able to. Ship fire rate tracking. What's the range in these? 60, 50. So getting into 30 is very close. We would actually want this one. Ship of the line on the wave cutters. In fact, if I reduce you to a level 2, can I do this with love? No. Oh, level 2 can't afford that at all. Save. And then the cruiser. Same thing. Advanced computers now. And that also means the Corvettes. Although I've changed this, their power can't be... Oh, hang on, hyperdrives too. Aha. Yeah, so you are going to be still mostly armoured. Save. Destroyer needs a better hyperdrive. Save. Cruiser needs a better hyperdrive. Cruiser already has it. Cool. So, these guys need some upgrades once they arrive in their home port. And this time their war exhaustion is increasing dramatically quicker than mine. Governor and scientists leveling up, that's good.
And I'm going to say for you... Grab another two Corvettes. Just to bring you up to full strength. You call that a fair deal? You spit in the face of Numa. Pa! Oh, but we have customers. I see serious apologies for that display. Some of us do not have the courage to accept good fortune when it falls into their lap. By the guiding hand of Numa, we have come across these ancient artifacts that have been very inspiring. Uh, sure. Haven't really been using them, but you never know when it'll be useful. I never set a war goal. The fleet has been refitted. The fleet has been refitted. Seven point two K. You're waiting for another three Corvettes, which we can go ahead and queue up now. Sweet. And our mineral reserves have been recovering quite nicely. Ah, I still need bloody crystals. Still can't buy them. <laughs> Having all of these upgrades is just pointless. You go ahead and upgrade the planetary capital. You are a factory world. I don't really want you doing more factory stuff, though. I feel like our consumer goods and alloy production is really strong. Naval capacity, that's the one I need. Or... No, that's only in the capital. No, let's go with this. Good production, still fine. And that will actually sort out our naval capacity deficit. The tech that allows you to fully change up traits only comes after the second genetic ascension perk. Oh well. I guess we'll be waiting a while then. There's the citadel. Allah requires explosive moats. Minerals from mining. Antimatter missiles. I think the antimatter missiles would be useful because, again, star bases use them. And the star bases, except for the platforms, automatically upgrade with those. Speaking of which, we should probably upgrade the star bases that have platforms. Right, where is this? Uram Station. I would like you to get another gun and missile and communications jammer. Meanwhile, Waterloo, you can get me some more anchorages. And... you have anything that's particularly useful to me. You can also get some more anchorages. Cool. So this should be pretty dramatically increasing my ship capacity. Meanwhile, you have done the research you need to do. You can come back down to Waterloo. Get back to assisting the research. I'm wondering if I send this fleet to go and take Rasnum back. Sure, why not? The fleet has been refitted. 
ships ready for action. Explosive moats required for fortresses as well. Ah! Incoming transmission. Yeah, we'll continue. I'm making enough where it's worthwhile. And our unity production is really good. At least I feel like it is. I don't really have anything to compare against. But it feels like it's solid. Gas refineries. I guess. We're starting to get some really serious unemployment now. Um, so... Let's get another research place for you. Helm's Deep. Generators. Cascadia. Commercial zone? Watership down. Oh wow, you're actually full. Build. Oh, we're being attacked. Nope, we are attacking. Because apparently they really don't want to attack me for some reason. There we go, we've retaken Erasnum. And I feel like I may just stay in... No, go and get yourselves repaired. And then just stay in Rasnum. see if I can provoke them into attacking us. If it can, then we'll just withdraw. Yes, we do have soul. Um... Actually, that's a point. Oh no, I can't terraform Tomb Worlds yet. Where is it gone? There it is. Yes, unfortunately, Soul 2 looks a bit blown up. Toxic World. Not even Tomb Worlds, but Toxic. How big is it? We don't know. Nope, that's looking the wrong one. It's not two, it's three. There it is. I knew it was a tomb world, size 18. So it is pretty big. Would definitely be worth taking. Oh! Oh no, and yeah, I need climate restoration to do that. I knew I couldn't. We need just two more months of minerals, and then we can build another mining district here. Oh no, sorry, it was here that I needed one. This is the mining world. Ships repaired. Go back to Resonum. Defense Grid Supercomputer, Sapient AI. We grow ever stronger. Technology secured. I don't see how that could be dangerous. Especially as we haven't actually... I don't think we've gotten any other kind of AI, have we? Maybe we have. Nebula Refinery, Mining Station Output, Minerals from Jobs, Mining Subsidies, min Mineral Purification, or Mining for Miners. I mean... That one, it's very, very cheap. Only takes us eight months. Technology secured. And there's the naval capacity. So we are no longer having that issue. We can upgrade our bureaucrats even further, but that requires even more crystals, so it's pointless. Ah, medical upgrade, but it requires gases. Now, gases I think we can get. 
Or the collective self, and we get level 10 scientists. Pop growth. Well, do I really need pop growth? I mean, I'm having a few problems with overpopulation due to a lack of building slots. Yeah, I'm, I'm becoming more and more convinced that this building tool doesn't really work. There aren't enough things to do with your population. The lack of building slots is crippling. And this war, just like the previous war, is just one giant snooze fest. Okay, so we have a new opportunity here. So we can get Adaptability, Dominion, Expansion, Prosperity, Subterfuge, or Supremacy. Prosperity reduces upkeep, increases resource output. City districts have more clerks. Buildings and districts... Build cost is reduced, build speed is increased. City districts have more houses, and then the capstone is resources from jobs plus 5% and more stability. So our specialists are effectively going to be 10% better with this. Expansion is starbase influence, empire size from systems and colonies. Which is adding up. That would be, what, a reduction of 15? No, 25%. That's 150, so what's 25% of 150? Like 40 or something. Star base, up, star base up creep reduced by 20. New colony start with additional pops. Pop growth increased by 10. So expansion's not terrible. Dominion clearing blockers is irrelevant. Governor level cap would be nice, especially if we we're trying to get our people to live longer. Ruler level cap would be nice. And the edicts fund is never bad. Capital building and housing buildings produce extra housing, which has just not been a problem. Enhanced surveillance from enforcers also producing unity. Then output from workers and slaves. We don't do slaves. Food output increased by 10%. Orbital bombardment and defense army damage increased. That one could be good. Habitability increased by 10. It's already 100 on all of our ocean planets. A free building slot, except we've reached our maximum. And we're basically always going to reach that maximum because it's way too freaking low. Supremacy gives us more naval capacity and army damage. Allows all the war doctrines, except it doesn't because we're in word of perfectionists. Ship build cost reduced by 10. Ship build speed increased by 25. Upkeep reduced by 10. Capacity increased by 20. I mean, we are still pretty handily below our, our um, capacity limit. Orbital bombardment and chipfire rate, and then damage versus star bases. And subterfuge run with perfectionist, so we suck at espionage anyway. I think if you want to build tool, you need habitats. I shouldn't need to, though, because that's just moving population off of the planets. 